bit nervous. I've been jumpy all night. The time stage zoo. Oh, long about midnight, but I reckon the storm will hold it up some. And Little Fork Bridge washed out. They'll have to wait here till the storm's over. Got a room? I've been riding all night. I want to get a little sleep for a stage, you see. Expecting trouble? I'm always expecting trouble. We got a place around here where I can watch goings on. I got it. My room. You see that knuckle? Yeah. Well, you only got to do is pull the rug just to one side, and you can see put in every corner of this room. Crap, you say. That just made the order. Call me when the stage is in. Will you hang? I ring the night bell. There's two beds up there. Take which one you want. Good night, Hank. Good night. Mr. and Mrs. right there. I suppose uh, you folks would like the bridal chamber? Uh, how much? Uh, well, we always get two dollars for the bridal chamber. You see, it's the uh, the best in the house. And uh, please be as quiet as you can. The man next to you gets up at five. Young 
Well, whatever have you lost? I ain't lost nothing. Well, what in the world is it that you that you can't find? Well, it's Reckon your tip was right, Sheriff. But how'd they get the combination? I don't know. What's then? Well, there's a safe combination number. He watched you through the window when you opened it. Trying to trail him tonight. No, by morning he'd be miles away. Just the same, I'm going to run him down if it takes me ten years. Everything's all right, old timer. It's just in time for me. Sit down. Think you're pretty slick, don't you? 
No, just careful. Well, you might have been the polka dot bandit or some other notorious outlaw. Eh? Yeah. How do you know I ain't? Just by your luck. Come on, let's see. Beans sure smell good. Well, help yourself. Pretty slick on the draw, too, ain't you, son? No, old timer. Just force a habit. Well, don't get excited. See, I carry this for snakes. Oh, I ain't insinuating that you're a snake, but it appears to me right now is a good time to open it. You have a drink? Well, in this particular case, yes. You mind if I roll up here for the night? No, oh, old timer. I'd be right glad to know you better. Yeah? Well, I ain't so sure. Anyway, here's mud in your eye. And how? See any sign of Mason and the gang? Saw a cloud of dust down by Cotton Creek. Maybe the outlaw. Well, I hardly think so. How could they know when Mason was coming to? Well, how did they know before? I tell you, there's a skunk in this town, and we ought to run him down. We ought to be hearing from Sacramento. That letter was sent three weeks ago. Oh, rat. The government don't care nothing about us. We've got to help ourselves. You can't fight out laws without ammunition, and we can get it. Just entered in the past. You boys know what to do. Remember, no harm must come to the girls. No sign of outlaws yet, Betty. But I still insist you shouldn't have come. Now, don't scold, Dad. It's been a wonderful trip. Glad you decided to drift along with me. Gets kind of lonesome trailing alone. Yeah. I ain't mistaken, you're going to have plenty of company.
telephone. We got both of them. We'd better make sure. sign of them. I reckon they're on the bottom. Well, I never got you, old timer. Yeah. With the feel of my head, they did get me. <laughs> what happened? Well, they shot you off your horse and you fell over the cliff. Into the water, eh? You pulled me out. Son, I... I reckon I owe you my life. I ain't forgetting it. Don't worry about that, Dad. We gotta get out of here. Think you can make it? No. I'll make it or bust a cinch. Everything worked out just as you planned, only we bumped into a couple of strangers. We had to run and fight. They got Jake, but they're on the bottom of the river. What about the girl? Are you sure she didn't recognize you? Nah, we didn't get close enough for that. She's probably in town by now. Come on. Dad and found him. There, there, Miss Biddy. 
Miss Petty, you must let me take care of you. I want you to consider my ranch your home until we can make more definite plans for your future. I want you to know that I'll do everything possible to help you. And you'll send someone for him? I'm going myself, right away. Oh, Mrs. Williams, I want you to take care of Betty until I return. Town, I reckon. Dead? His daughter just told us. We were just going to bring him into town. Yeah? Well, you can give us a hand, then. I have a Boy, some of you take care of me. What happened? What happened? What happened? Don't move. Either one of you. Now talk and talk fast. Where's the rest of your gang and the provision? Why was it necessary to kill? You could have taken the packs without committing murder. Then, we found these two going through Mason's pockets. Now, what's to be done? Screw you! Screw you! that gun! I keep him covered. Men, we didn't kill Mason. And if you'll call his daughter, she'll prove it. His daughter's in no condition to be dragged out here and questioned. We're not trying to question anyone, but under the circumstances, I think Miss Mason will be glad to explain. Here she comes now. Miss Mason, these men have accused us of killing your father. Oh, no, Mr. Melville. These are the men that drove the envelopes away and saved my life. Well, in that case, we certainly owe you gentlemen an apology. You, of course, don't realize, but this town is in a most desperate state. We are without food and ammunition, terrorized by a band of murdering outlaws. Two attempts have been made now to bring in supplies, only to have our men killed and the food taken. If we don't get provision shared before snow sets in, we're trapped. We're trapped now. We can only last a few days longer. Let's all get out. I tell you, it's the only solution. I think you're right. How can we get out when our money is all gone for food that we never got? Men, I have a little money, not much, but I'll do this. In order that we can get out, I'll give you $100 each for your homestead. I'm taking a long chance of ever getting my money back. But I'll risk it. Oh, that's my word, Melrose. Come on, that's my back. Down to that. Don't you think before you sell your homes for a few dollars that you should take at least one more chance at getting the provisions through? Our men have families. There's been enough killing. Wow. Yeah, that's right. Why not let us take a crack at it? If you can get us provisions, I'll pay you well. Forget that. You give us an order and we'll have the provisions back here inside of four days. Good. And come to my ranch this afternoon, and I'll give you an order for a thousand dollar supply. That's it. Get out. See that pal in Melgrove? You're going to be mighty interested in him right soon. Who is he? Keeping that for a surprise. Huh? I'm keeping a surprise for you, too.
Show Miss Mason the spare room. Sí, señor. Remember, this is to be your home, Betty. It's going to be a great pleasure to have you with me. I thought you said those two men were at the bottom of the river. I'd swear those were the two we shot down. Hmm. If hadn't been for those two meddlers, the town would be moving out right now. Well, anyway, you got the girl. And remember this. She's private property. Hands off. Yeah, you better tell the boys not to be talking around here. She might find out who you really are. Kent made another inspection of Homestead Valley. Swears it'll be the richest gold strike ever discovered. Runs right through the middle of all the ranches. We'll soon be rid of those hombres. The town will move out. And we'll own the gold field. Senor, la muchacha está escuchando. Take her to the hideout. We'll keep her there till the town is deserted. You don't dare. I'm going over to Melgrove's and get that order. Only one came over. What's he doing in the bunkhouse? I don't know. But now is your chance. Remember, no shooting. You boys tell me where Melgrove is? Why, yeah, I think you'll find him right, uh...
What's this all about? I asked these men here. My boys have orders to hold all strangers. They didn't understand. I'm very sorry. Oh, well, that's all right, no, girl. We were just playing. Here's your order, and I wish you luck. When are you leaving? Right now. We expect to be back before daylight. You see, the outlaws won't be expecting us that soon. I hope you'll get through. Well, it won't be our fault if we don't, eh, Jake? You said her, son. Won't be expecting them, eh? Huh. They'll find out. It's the things we least expect that usually happen. I thought we was going to Sandy. We're not going to be that foolish, old timer. They'd be waiting for us at the pass. You think Mel Grove and Dandy are with the other Lord? There's no doubt about it. Well, what should be done? Well, it all depends on what happens between now and tomorrow morning. Wonder what happened to Miss Mason? And the tail goes to the high. Well, hey. Hello, bro. Hi. We'll leave at dawn. They'll be coming too early. Where's the girl? In the strong room. She won't eat. She'll get over that. I'll have a talk with her tomorrow. Miss Mason. Betty. Oh, I'm so glad you found me. Tell me briefly, what's happened? They caught me overhearing your plans and brought me here. Mel Grove is a leader. He's trying to force the people out so he can get their land. But why? Well, you see, under their topsoil is a rich gold deposit, and it runs right through all the ranches. Ken is in with them. Well, they'll be leaving early. I'll be back shortly after dawn to get you. Now try and get some sleep. Good night. Wake up, old timer. Huh? What's the matter? 
Clean out them ears. I got a world of news for you. Where you been? I followed Melgrove to the hideout. Hey, that sounds interesting. Go on. Well, they're holding Miss Mason prisoner. And I got to talk to her, and she gave me the lowdown on the whole deal. Now, listen to this. I'll be back by noon. I want you to guard this place, boys. Keep your eye on the girl. If anybody comes, shoot. Okay, boss. Try and find the wagon. I'll go get the girl. I've located the wagon and the horses. Good. Give me a left here. We're taking this umbre with us. I'll take him. All right. Miss Mason? Yes. Hurry and get ready. They've gone. for the hideout. Keep back. I'm going to break this in. Are you ready? I'll meet you at the tunnel. All right. Hey, son, there's enough grub in there to last a year. Come on.
Now, just where do you think you're going? work, son, but we got to hurry. They're coming back. Take that lone horse behind those trees and race for town. Hey, son, here's a box of dynamite. Might come in handy.
mouth drop. Here they come, old timer. Don't miss your mark. Means the lives of everyone in town. Mel Grove is the leader, and under your topsoil is the richest gold field ever discovered. Sacramento today, and, uh, well, you don't know it, but, uh, you're going with me. And he's dead. Must have got a slug from one of his own men. Sheriff, congratulate me. May I present the future Mrs. John Carruthers. Hey, wait a minute, young man. You can't do this. You see, I know who you are. So does Miss Mason. You mean to say you're willing to... to... Now, see here, young fella. I ain't forgetting you saved my life for what you done for this town. But I got my duty to perform. Can't you see I got to take you in? Don't you realize I know you're the pokey duck? Why, Sheriff, you must have seen me through the knot hole. You're right, by cracky, I did. But you saw the wrong man. The polka dot bandit left just ahead of me. He left this rowel sticking in the floor. You must have seen me just as I picked that up. And that rowel belongs to Dante. Well, what do you make of this? Oh, well, I found those in Dandy's room yesterday. Dandy's a polka dot bandit. There's a five thousand dollar reward for him, Sheriff. I guess it's up to you to collect it. Well, if Dandy's a polka dot, who in blazes are you? Why, well, he's the United States Marshal. He's your man from Sacramento. <laughs> Sheriff, 